we gotta i wanted to i want to talk about sleeper figures you know like that's kind mm. of like a sports reference right like sleeper picks like who's gonna be who's gonna be better than what people are thinking they're gonna be right that's kind of how i want to view this question yeah. there are a lot any number of figures probably that we can name that people are sleeping on you can name an in stock figure if you want you can name a pre-order figure if you want it has to be a figure though the only rule i will stipulate is that it has to be a figure that exists right now so mm. it can't be like uh, Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz Catwoman, because we know we're going to get that eventually, but it doesn't yeah. exist yet. So something that does actually exist. And Mario, I'm going to start with you. This could be in stock. This could be pre-order. What do you think? What sleeper figure is going to shock the world and amaze people when it drops? As far as amaze people when it drops, it's a little bit difficult to say, man, considering that, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna pull up there's a lot of stuff that's out there, you know, in my opinion, and I think mm -hmm. that's going to be really, really good. One of the ones that I'm looking at is the um, the Doc Brown from Back to the Future 1. Oh, right? I don't want to okay. know if anyone necessarily is sleeping on it, but I know that's one that's been really anticipated F for me personally, considering that I've had the first one. I've had all of them, but I, I got rid of the sequel figures just because I wanted to focus on the first one. That's where my heart is at originally, man. And I thought so. What, you thought so? Siri? Okay. Yeah, Siri fucking hey. heard you and said, I thought so. Siri's like, bro. I thought Doc Brown was a sleeper hit. She knew, bro. <laughs> I mean, Doc Brown is one. I think another one, too, that I'm looking at that actually went waitlisted, so that's actually kind of saying something, is the classic suit Loki. That one, ah. dude, I think, because I remember the um, the third party one that came out. It looks amazing. And Sideshow, or not Sideshow, but the Hot Toys version actually went waitlisted. I'm just seeing this right now. I'm like, holy mm -hmm, crap, look mm -hmm. at that. So I I guess that wouldn't be a sleeper hit right now. I mean, people are actually looking into it, but a couple more. I mean, Lil, I'm sorry if I'm stealing any of your, any of your thunder, bro, but I, <laughs> I want to say I want to say the Scarlet Witch from the WandaVision, man. That's a beautiful oh, looking okay. figure. You're the, 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 white, the white Black Widow is another one, too. And I want to say the TVA Loki. That's a TVA banger of a head sculpt, wow. too. And it, I, think, I think there's still a lot going on with some of these figures, bro. That's just that mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. they're not getting that much hype right now. Marvel is on the low. Mm -hmm. And I think these... These could possibly be sought after uh, uh, when they drop, you know, if not later. Yeah. yeah. Well, before you jump in, Leia, I want to give one because Mario inspired me. Oh, we got the booty bots. We got the, well, one booty hey, bot I can see in the chat. But uh, yeah, I know. We'll see this but, in the super uh, chat. So, Mario, you dropped some bangers there. Those are a lot of really good figures that people, will, I think, I guess, a lot of well, not like I know Leo hasn't forgotten that Wanda exists, but a lot of people forgot yeah. probably that's even on pre order right now. But I think, Mario, your point about classic Loki. I would argue actually that people did forget about him, which is why he is waitlisted. Because I yeah. think he's not he's not been high pre order number clearly. Because if so, they would keep it open for longer. But I don't think a lot of people are pre -order. maybe because they already bought the so so version, maybe they just don't care about that Loki. But it could be any combination of the two. But I, I think that's one that for sure people could sleep on because the head sculpt looks incredible. This Loki could for sure be a sleeper. Right now I don't have it on pre order, but when it comes out, I could very much see myself getting it. One that you inspired me, Mario, was actually Sylvie because mm, mm -hmm. uh, when you name TVA Loki, I'm going to get this Sylvie, unless it comes out shitty, which I don't think is going to happen, right? But this figure looks fantastic. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it looks really good. I, and I, I would love to have a Sylvie. I know she's going to be in season two. She could have a different outfit. Who knows, right? There'll probably be another Sylvie. This is not, mm. not going to be the only one, right? True. But True. I do want this one. I love this look. And I, I really loved Loki season one. I'm a, I'm a homer, though. I'm, I, you know, I'm... <clears throat> Like I'm a Loki fanboy, so like to me, I was probably gonna like it either way. But to me, that would probably be a sleeper for me. Like I think people are forgetting about Sylvie a lot. Um, I mm -hmm. think you'll probably be able to get her for cheaper later. I don't think she's gonna be one that you have to like rush out and grab right now or anything. But I do, I do think that she's gonna be one that looks. If she looks anything as close to as good as this proto, I think people are gonna be very happy for the ones who get her. So yeah. Um, and you know, I, I see, you know, some of the others I'll pull up too. Like, uh, I mean, I know like someone was saying the Captain America Falcon, Sam Wilson, you know, that's one. I don't even know mm -hmm. if that's a sleeper. I but can see that. Yeah, but I mean, it's like there are any number of figures probably on this list that people could think about. Because like we can't say anything like Darth Vader or Cad Bane because those are like, um, you know, very much well known. I think people are forgetting about this Mando Luke. I think I people, was about to mention that as well. Right. I think you I don't know, know if that's... it's a sleeper per se, but I do feel like people are sleeping on it at the moment. Um. I think you know what right now because of the um the what you call it the dark troopers that are out right yeah. I haven't had a chance to mess with mine yet but I've but I've seen that they split from the body you can actually take them apart right mm. so if you want if you get this if you get this one right here I believe you might be able to swap out that battle damage top half and put it on the the um the bottom half with the clean one yeah I believe that might be a possibility and something to consider but yeah well yeah, what do you think Leia what 
what figure would you say is like a, s- a sleeper figure in your mind? Well, there's a, there's a couple of them, bro. Um, I'm going to start with one that people actually did mention in the collection. And I will say Morbius. Michael Morbius is going to be a sleeper, mm. bro, because Morbius, okay. people are basing that off of the film, which I watched the film and it wasn't as horrible as everybody says it was. As far as, I mean, graphics and everything, I thought it was incredible. Um, you know, just, you know, what we actually got from the CG, I, I think I thought it was pretty good. I think Morbius is definitely going to be one that's a sleeper. I think one that's actually released right now. I mean, that's that's coming out right now. That's another sleeper. And this, like I said, aesthetically, look at this. Right. It just it eludes horror. And I love that. You know what I mean? I love that we get. And, and, and the thing is, it's like, I mean, I like to separate, you know, this particular the film IP from comics. Mm. To have a Michael Morbius in my collection is a dream to have him, you know, you know, with Spider-Man. I definitely believe this is going to be incredible. That's why it's, you know, one of my one is going to be one of my most sought after because I just want to have it. Um, he is a anti-hero, you know, could be labeled a villain to some, could be labeled a hero to others, just depending. Uh, so I definitely want to get this piece. I can't wait. Another one that slept on that that's coming out soon through Sideshow. It's already released. Again, I don't care what anybody says. This is my opinion. But that Captain Carter, once you get that Captain Carter, and I'm going to tell you why, having that Captain Carter and how aesthetically great it will look for anybody who's purchasing that Hydra Stomper, just what you can do with the figure, what you'll be able to do with that figure. I know, listen, animated figure, people basically like, you know, uh, doesn't have the likeness of Kitty, I mean, uh, uh, um, um, uh, what's her name? Atwell. Atwell. Haley Atwell. It doesn't basically have the likeness, but it is an animated figure. Um, I like what if I enjoyed what if to have this basically on top of that high hydro stomper and the ideas that I have, I know it's going to be a sleeper. The material on that is it, it gives away really good. So articulation is going to be good. It's animated. I mean, and it's just me. That's just my liking. I think it is a yeah. sleeper once people actually get it in hand, you know, or for those who got it in hand, I'm pretty sure they'll be happy. But I just think that they're sleeping on this because, again, you know, I know that we're, you know, a lot of people were basically comparing this to. Uh, um, he said, supposed to be here Wednesday. I'm looking forward to see what she looks like as Beam. Is it supposed to be through Sideshow? Let me know because if it's through Sideshow, I would like to know how it is. That means I'll get mine so- soon through Underground. I'll get the notification because I have mm. actually got it through Ray. Mm, uh, nice. but um, yeah, um, just let me know how that is. But again, I mean, I know people, I mean, with, with the Miles and the Gwen. You know, it's 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 a, it's in the most anticipated IP. I know people are you know they love those figures, but what bodes well with those figures is the articulation. You can do whatever you want with it because it's animated, mm-hmm. and I think the same will be said for this particular figure. And I can't wait to get it in hand. Um, you know, just to see how I can manage it. Um, so yes, Hydra Stomper as well. I mean, I think it's going to look aesthetically great, even though it's a power pose to have that wood. Um, Steve Rogers animated. Um, I can't wait uh, for that. Um, Another figure, I mean, yeah, this is definitely, man, I cannot wait to have this piece of man. But yeah, it's man. just me because I love the show. Also, yeah. can't forget the, um, the, uh, um, so what if, huge. Ult- yeah, the what if Ultron. Uh, oh, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a bad another piece. one. You know, that's a dope ass piece that a lot of people aren't really, really talking about. But it is going to be a sleeper of, you know, not really too much of a sleeper, but I mean, it, I think it is pretty dope. I cannot wait to have that one. Um, Damn. in hand and look how tall it is and, and it, it's just going to look great to complete that line. We got <laughs> Captain Carter, we got it's this massive, Ultron, man. we have the Hydra Stomper with you know um, Steve Rogers, and also for people who actually have the um, you know the Zombie Hunter Spider Man, it's going to bode well with everything when it comes to this. So that's going to all look good as well. Um, and on top of that, one of my most anticipated figures, especially since last week, the announcement that a lot of people are probably sleeping on is White Vision. That figure is going to be incredible because, again, West Coast Avengers, if you know anything about the comics, how important that figure is. And on top of that, seeing as we are going to get a Wonder Man figure, again, Wonder Man's his like his essence was put into that white vision. If you follow the comics. So that'd be a dope piece to basically have. Um, and, it. and I'll even, I'll even, and that, yeah, you can't really find it's like, it. It's like all like, I type, oh, there we go. There we go. There we I typed in white vision. And it was just like dolls. <laughs> was yeah. Just that white vision. vision, um, is definitely going to be incredible. 
um, to have, you know, don't worry about the unicorn piece that you put on his head. The unicorn horn, bro. <laughs> you don't even have to worry about that. But everything as far as this piece, so I have this one, you know, already paid off. I can't wait till it's released and I get the notification for it because it's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. And I'm so excited about Vision Quest, if that's true, if that's what they're going with. I cannot wait to see it. Um, you know, I am a huge Vision fan, huge Paul Bettany fan, and his take on Vision is perfect. I can't imagine anyone else actually playing that uh, that role. Um, and there was another one that I was thinking of that I was going to leave it with uh, was, um, damn, damn, damn. I was just thinking about it. Uh, uh, damn. It just. I can jump in if you want when you think about it. I was going to uh, say, oh, too, oh, oh. Ken. Can... Last one. Last one. All right, what's up? What's up? Neo. Oh, ne from the mm, new okay. Matrix. All right, from the new right. Matrix. Mm, yeah. Low stock. You better yeah. get them. People want I'm them. I'm telling you. But it's low stock because it again, it's because yeah, nobody's probably, buying it. Nobody's really buying it. But I'm telling you, can you go back? Can out, you go back to his, to to what it comes with? Yeah, I just sure. I need to understand why this why this would be a sleeper hit considering that it comes with damn near nothing. It comes with a pill, dude. <laughs> oh, you know, you, okay, you know why? You know why? Because, and I'm explaining to you why, bro. Mm. It's a figure that doesn't come with much, but aesthetically, the suit and everything. And this is Keanu Reeves. You don't even have to associate it to this film. Literally, you don't. Mm. It doesn't really say anything. You can do anything that you want with this particular figure. And the reason why is, is I'm looking yeah. at it like there's so many different things that you can do with it. But I guarantee you that just like, bro, when we got um, um, when we saw him with um, which figure did we get? Uh, I keep always forgetting. John Wick. John Wick. Oh, John Wick. Yeah, just yeah. like when when like that figure was out, people, a lot of people were complaining about it. Then when it sold out, it was one of the most sought out the figures. Oh, like literally. Figure. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like it's we when we talk about it, when we think about it, it's like uh, you know whatever. But I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to you know look after this figure if they don't get it. And on top of that, to do a recreation of Ron, John Wick, if they missed out on it the first time, and if they if there's going to be a long wait till we get another one, and if people are impatient, I guarantee you they'll get this and try to mock up, use the head sculpt to do something totally different. Exactly. Yeah. You know we mean? all said yeah. that when when this figure actually dropped, we're yep. like, you know what? I probably, I bet a lot of collectors are going to go after this head sculpt just to pop mm -hmm. it on their John Wick figure. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> you know? Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. true. Well, I have I have a couple more and then we're gonna move on real quick. But I think one people are forgetting about is Carnage. Um oh, I'm definitely because that definitely. layout I had it pre-ordered at one point, but I knew I could cancel and get my NRD back because I knew I can get it cheaper. But I'm almost certainly gonna get this. Um, you know, I was because, forgetting about it because it's five hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, that's true. I mean, forget it five hundred dollars. <laughs> but I think that could be why. But I think uh, it's me, gonna, I think it might be discounted. That some bitch down to three ninety. And I'm oh late. nice, okay. Yeah, and I th yeah, I think well, people are gonna be able to get this. I, I think so. But the thing is Don't fucking massive. Carnage is huge. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, he's like, he's bigger. Like Thanos is not even this yeah. big. So, yeah. I mean, it's, and Thanos is a big ass mm. figure. So, I mean, yeah. Carnage people are sleeping on one, two that I want to mention that people are forgetting about are Shang-Chi and Wenwu. Um, oh. Yeah. Because yeah. these head sculpts, especially Shang-Chi is, oh my, amazing. I, I, I'm, this might sound hyperbolic. I don't think I've ever seen a better Hot Toys head sculpt than this. Um, really? That this is, a, this is a 10 out of 10 head sculpt. I, this looks, ex this looks like a real person. Gilgamesh is really uh, good too. Gilgamesh yeah. is really, really good. Yeah. Um, but Wen Wu, since they updated it, Wen Wu and Shang Chi are just insane. Oh shit, they made mm -hmm. a 10 scale. I kind of want to look at that. Um oh, look at, mm. but uh Wen Wu, and this is the old head sculpt. And I still still thought this was good, but the updated version is much better. Yeah. Um uh, I, I'm not sleeping on these. I'm gonna get these. I I'm gonna pre-order them probably again, but I'm gonna get these as soon as <laughs> I can get them. Yeah. I do you guys notice that we're hyping up Marvel again? <laughs> yeah, like are, a lot of these well, you know how much I love Shang-Chi Mario like Shang-Chi to yeah, me is like yeah, one of my yeah. favorite films ever not just Mar mm. not just Marvel like I, I absolutely love sure. Shang-Chi like I but just, you know yeah. what also it's because we know that Star Wars moves more units than Marvel to be quite yeah honest, they are right now they mm. are they're moving more Definitely, units yeah. and if people aren't really concentrating on Marvel right now because again like there's Again, we don't want to admit it, but a lot of people are, and I'm a comic head to the heart, but a lot of people are mm -hmm. basically in that state of fatigue right now because films have been lackluster. Sure. So, yeah. you know, so the focus is like less on these particular. Also, we, again, <laughs> we don't think so, but at Yelena is going, I'm telling you, it's going to be a sleeper. That could be bro. a sleeper. Yep. That's mm -hmm. going to be a sleeper. Be well, I, I mean, I will tell you, like, I know Carlos talked about this too. When Wu has all the signs of a future grail, like yeah. he, he's going to be. He's gonna be great. So yeah. can I one 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 other thing too, man. I What's gotta up? show some love to DC. But the thing is that I don't really consider it a sleeper because I think a lot of us really wanted it for those that have the rest of the Justice League is Cyborg. 
Oh, hell, you know, that's a, well, that's I would say people are sleeping on it at the moment. Man. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't no one's really talking about it. I think, it's supposed yeah, to come out soon, yeah. this year. It, it It's it's actually a couple months away, I believe. If not, just around the corner. Yeah, it says but October This is another one, too. So. Yeah, this is another one, too, man. I mean, that, that I know a lot of us were asking for. For those that who built the team, we're Cyborg, we're Cyborg, we're Cyborg. And it finally came out. You know, now that we finally have it, it's just, it's just one of those things that Hot Toys is just coming out with so many damn figures, bro. We forget what was already given to us, man, for pre-order. Mm -hmm. You know, we never really talk. I mean, for, for me, is that I can I can see that some of us don't just take the time and appreciate, first of all, what we already have. Or, you know, may, may not appreciate as much what we already have, but then we're always excited about what's coming next. What's coming next? Okay, we got that one. Cool. I want to get it. What's coming next? What's coming next? You know, it's like we always got to feed that itch, bro. You know, but at the same yep. time, it's just like, you know, just consider what you got coming into and what you've already got. I understand the I understand the excitement of getting a new figure too, bro. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you, hey, you know, know what? Somebody, gotta, in chat, sometimes. somebody in the chat says something is very interesting, but yet true. The reason why a lot of these figures are probably going to get slept on and unforgotten is because of the weight and how long it's actually been since the movie dropped. How yeah. long it's been it's since Shang Chi dropped, and we have to wait a couple more, probably another year. You know what I mean? It's just how far they push out these release dates. You know what I mean? Like that's and then again is and once it does release, you got to wait another two to three months if you get it through certain you know companies like Sideshow or whatever. Well, lately that's changed. Yeah, it's changed. So they now. are basically increasing. Mm -hmm. You know how quickly they get these particular figures, and the turnaround is a lot quicker. But you know, yeah, I mean that's that's the point. It's a good point. It's yeah. definitely the point. It's true.